Omi Lauren, who is the host over at The Blaze, who has got a lot of coverage as of late, because she is, and we see this a lot, there will be specific conservatives who are usually young, who get tons of coverage, tons of popularity, because it's so rare for someone young to be so impassioned and so seemingly, what I would say is brainwashed, because we see her going on crazy tangents about... Um, the death of four, um, I think it was, veterans, I think in Tennessee, by a Muslim, I think, and she goes on this crazy tangent, but basically, there's nothing really on there about right-wing terrorism ever, so, it seems interesting, and she's also had some very crazy points, and she'll just go on these massive rage tangents, and... It seems that she's actually been uh, exposed because what's interesting is that although she does her best to try to seem genuine, the reality is you can kind of tell that there's some kind of disconnect there because someone with a functioning brain cannot have those type of thoughts. So I want you guys, sorry, I want you guys to really go and read this article. I'm going to link it down below. It's from Raw Story. And they say, um, Thursday, Syracuse University student Matt Gehring uncovered a series of videos from Larian's University of Nevada, Las Vegas days, where she hosted a political roundtable show on UNL, UNLV TV called The Scramble. In the 2014 videos, Larian, whose signature shout at the camera approach is noticeably absent, can be seen acknowledging the scientific consensus that climate change is real and advocating for lawmakers to address the multi-dimensional issue of gun violence. There's literally video evidence of this. She is the total opposite person I've ever seen. And this, and you will, (laughs) as soon as you realize what it is, you'll see where the difference comes in. I'm going to tell you guys right now, it's the money and it's the attention, the fame. That's what it is. So there's this video of her on this like show that she hosted or whatever in her college days. And basically, she's like a normal person, a normal human being uh, regurgitating facts that are put out by scientists for climate change, right? And then talking about certain nuances in gun violence where it's not just one reason it's not just the killer it's not just the guns it's not just the nra and all this and all this not just islamophobia islam whatever right so what why is it so different right it's the money it's the exposure and it's the fame and that's what it is so i really really encourage you guys to watch this because she looks like totally the opposite you would not even be able to tell it's her So she said this, she said, despite this cold snap, scientists have reached a consensus, climate change is occurring, Lauren said in one video, what are we going to do about it is the controversial question we will address here today. So seemingly regurgitating the facts that are true, right? You can't deny facts. And of course she changed that. And they say, contrast Laren's 2014 insistence that climate change is a problem with her 2017 claim she calls it weather. So she had this stupid ass tweet that apparently didn't do so well. She said they call it climate change in quotes and quotation marks as if it's like some kind of like hoax or like 99% of peer reviewed articles are approved by scientists on climate change. It's real motherfucker. But anyways, it says I call it weather. And then it's linking to some bullshit ass YouTube video. If it was weather, why in the history of human life has no one said far, far back that there's climate change simply because of the weather? Just because it snows once a year doesn't mean that the fact that it's getting hotter at a consistent basis doesn't disprove climate change. I mean, could you imagine a Tommy Lahren and Bill Nye debate on climate change? I would pay to watch that. I would pay to watch that. I would donate... $5 to watch that segment. I really would. So, again, more stuff. As Garrick points out, there's a lot of stuff I'm going to break down. While Lauren today won't mention the words gun control without blaming Islam, in college she managed to get through an entire segment of the nuances of gun violence without mentioning the religion. 
We need to understand that it's a multi-dimensional issue, she said in 2014. Whoa, what the fuck? This is not the Tommy Lauren I know. The Tommy Lauren I know is the one who fucking screams at the scream saying, Islam is coming to get you. Obama is jihad friendly. They're coming to get you. Be scared. Have fear. Ah. It's like, it's not even, it's not even relatable. Seriously, it's not. And they also, they continue, so anytime you have a rampage or school shooting, it's not caused by one thing. It's not caused by the gun. It's not caused by the violent media or video games. It's not caused by mental health, anything entirely. It's a multi-dimensional issue, so it needs to be addressed from all angles. Wow, we have some sense. So here's where you get it. You see the sense there. It's present. The aptitude if you will the intelligence is not absent it's not absent it's not there what the intelligence has gone through is the process of hey i can dupe these fucking idiots to giving me fame wealth money exposure i'm gonna say this bullshit to these idiots that they just eat it up they just eat that shit up I mean, this fool's, ah, uh, she's having live videos with Charlamagne, uh, had a debate with Trevor Noah, got smacked, but anyways, the point here is, <sighs> the intelligence is not absent, it is the intelligence that pushes her to realize how much of an opportunity she has in that field. What a lot of people don't know, actually, I'm not going to say that, but people don't usually know this. It is that young conservatives who are very passionate is actually very rare. You have the Ben Shapiro's of the world. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't say he's particularly young, but there is this one kid that I had seen who was quite uh, infamous for a little bit. A little bit, I say for a reason. Who was coming out? He's African American and he was against Obama and he was a Republican, but. And he, he, okay, he was getting lots of attention, you know, lots of people loved him, and they were so clapping and supporting him, because he's like the only kid that they could find to support them, right? So he shines, right? He saw that the Republicans didn't give a shit about Laquan McDonald, the shooting of Laquan McDonald. And as soon as he saw that, he decided to defect from the party which he wasn't really a part of but he didn't consider himself a supporter anymore and he became a bernie sanders supporter i don't know about you guys i haven't heard of that guy since ever not even once and keep in mind this is during the primary season so it wasn't too long ago but it's just it's a lot harder to find Young conservatives, because their talking points don't appeal to young people, and frankly, they don't really make sense. I mean, people like this going on tangents are just dumb. And they keep going. I'm going to break this down for you guys. They say, the 24-year-old Laren might disagree. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Laren, Lauren, I'm not sure. Discussing police shooting victim Terrence Crutcher. Laren went on a full-throated rant about Islamic radical terror. And these are her infamous rants, right? You can look these up. She just, like, crazy. She got the veins popping out of her neck. Like, bro, chill, dog. Chill, dude. She's like, the footage doesn't look good. That's why there will be a full investigation by the Justice Department and Tulsa PD. That's how this thing works. If it wasn't justified, it would be prosecuted in that matter. Ha! <laughs> prosecuted my ass! <laughs> Who's gonna prosecute them? Their buddies? Who's there to prosecute them? The, 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 not the defendants. Who's there to prosecute them? The victims? How are they going to prosecute them? Low class, low class African Americans are going to be on an equal level playing field as white policemen in the fucking court of law? Hell no. Why is it that we aren't supposed to, supposed to mention Islam even when it's clear Islamic radical terror is the culprit? Why is it that we can't seem to come up with a motive? Oh, but when a white officer uses force against a black suspect for any reason, automatically, without hesitation, it's about white racism. I don't know what else to say. What happened from the nuance there, where it's a mix of things, to just blatant Islamophobia, and basically the blue lives matter, all lives matter bullshit. So, again, and... 
lots of tweets she deleted because she was she would be dancing at bars and you know be drinking and stuff so she's playing you guys and the funny thing is the republican base like just eats it up i don't know if it's sorry i don't know if it's the base or if it's some crazy people i don't really know but whoever the fuck they are they're eating this shit up and I really, really strongly refrain from watching her videos because not only are they just so ridiculous that I can't fathom the logic there, but she's <laughs> she's a right-wing SJW too. I've seen her block people who simply go on there responding to her bullshit. So you have been exposed, and it's too bad people aren't smart enough to actually see this, but... Your base is idiot, so why would they why would they why would they have any logic at this point, right?